Okay, hello, welcome to our new lesson in Python, and we will be coding a turtle to move at will, at our will, I should say. Okay, so the first thing I want you all to do is to type this in. We're going to say imp, uh, from turtle import star. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to press the play button, um, which doesn't do anything. But it's going to allow me, since I've got my view set to variables, I'd like us to go and take a second and just look at that, okay? So these are all the functions. Uh, you'll notice that some of them are classes. We've talked about that. I don't want to be dealing with class right now. I want to be looking at just functions for a while. So we've we've seen these different, um, some of these before. We've used them, right? And we've even added some new ones, right? We wrote our, some of our own functions. Well, today what I'd like to do is I'd like to explore, if possible, maybe I can make this a little bit bigger font, um, I'd like to explore these methods down here. Uh, uh, for now, I want to look at on key release. So the on key release me uh, function is a function that performs an act upon releasing a key from the keyboard. Okay. So you see, we have on key, which I think works exactly like on key release, actually. So we could probably just use that. So on key and on key release, I think, are just the same function with different names. Um, and then on key press, uh, it gets triggered when someone presses it, not when they let go. All right. You'll notice we also have an on timer for doing things uh, after a certain amount of time. And we have on click and on drag. That, that's for mouse events. And we'll get to those later because they have a little bit of a subtlety. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make some function that our turtle will perform when we click a certain key. And so what I want to do is I want to define a function called move forward. And this move forward function, now we're not used to this, but this function is going to uh, not actually take in any parameters. Most of the functions we've written, I think we've had it take in some parameters. Maybe a few didn't. But even if it has no parameters, I still need these parentheses here, okay? And my move forward function is, is going to be just forward, and I want to move forward um, five, five pixels, okay? So as it stands right now, that you might find this to be somewhat unusual that I would wrap a function around forward. I mean, it doesn't really do much, does it? All right. it, do, it does get added now to my function list, okay? Um, I used to have just um, forward. Now you'll notice on my function list when I run this, I now have uh, option to move forward. Let's go ahead and, and, and call that, okay? Move forward. And uh, my turtle move forward just a little bit. I can call it again. And, um, you know, it, you're starting to see this tail appear, right? Pressing the up arrow, by the way, just brings up what I last did. And so it's moving forward five small pixels each time. But the key here is that forward took in a number, didn't it? I have to tell forward a parameter of how far to go. Move forward, we left that parameter empty. And that's actually what I need. And I'll explain why. Let's write a couple more. I'm going to write move backward. And I'll write that it goes backward 5. Again, backwards another one of our functions that we get the call here. Um, you can see it right there, but it takes in a parameter for how far it goes, okay? Um, and then I'm going to do... Um, Let's do turn left. And we're going to say that if you turn left, you go left 90 degrees. And let's do one more, turn right. And if we call turn right, you turn right 90 degrees. Now we could run this module and we could test each one of these things. And they should all work. I do want to point out that they're over here now in my variable list is functions I can do. Um, I have 
move backward, move forward. I have turn left and turn right. So we've added all of that support to our already pretty cool list of functions that we imported from Turtle. All right, I'm now going to define a main function. This is going to be our main function. So def main. And I'm going to bind some keys. But in order to help us see the turtle immediately, I don't want I don't want a blank screen. I'm going to go ahead and change the shape. So I'm going to change the shape and we'll and we'll put in turtle in quotes. If you recall, the the original shape of that turtle is going to start up as a as a triangle looking thing, like an arrow. Uh, now it's going to have the shape of a turtle. And I'm going to use the on key. Um, we can do on key or on key release. I'll go ahead and say on key release just to make it explicit that it's the releasing of the key that does it. On key release. And now on key release takes two parameters, okay? So we have two things that we're gonna have to put in here. The first thing that it takes is what I want it to do. I want when you press, I wanna make you pr go forward. I wanna call move forward when we press the up key. So I type in move forward. But notice I am not putting parentheses after it. Down here in the interactive shell, when I called move forward, every time I had to put parentheses. And you always have to put parentheses to call a function or a method. So why am I not putting parentheses now? This is about the only time in all, if you take four years computer science, it's about the only time you'll ever not put parentheses after a function name. And the reason why is I don't want to call it right now. I want to bind it. This is called binding. I am binding this function to be, if I put parentheses on it, what would happen is I would end up binding nothing. And what would happen is I would actually move forward one time it would go it would bind nothing because this returns nothing. And I would and it would actually call move forward. So you don't put the parentheses when you're binding, because you're not calling move forward. I'm saying, hey turtle, move call this function only upon this key being released. Now we have to tell it what key. So it's a string, and the arrow keys, unlike most every other key on the keyboard, is defined with capital letters. Capital U P. All of these strings for different keys can be found in the Python documentation if you Google it or whatever. So we're going to have up be bound to move forward. So what you realize, I want you to realize that when I bind a function, I could choose any of these functions, any of them I can put in there, right? So why did I have to make a new move forward? I had to write this move forward. I couldn't just I couldn't just leave it. I couldn't just say forward five because forward requires a parameter. But I'm not allowed to put parentheses when I bind something. And so because I'm not allowed to put parentheses, I'm not allowed to put parentheses five. So I had to write a function that took no parameters because the only functions I can bind without doing something I don't want to get into. Otherwise, the only functions I can bind are functions that have nothing in these parentheses. So I, I had to rewrite it that way. That's why I did that. Let's bind some more keys. On key release, I want to call move backward with the key down. And on key release, turn left with the left key, left arrow, 
and on key release, turn right with the right key. Now, with the turtle module, uh, there, there's a little thing that a lot of people forget. Uh, but you have to tell the turtle module to actually listen. Uh, some graphics programs require this, others don't. But you do on this one. You have to say listen. So I'm going to call the listen function. The listen function means listen to the keyboard. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to call my main. Remember how to do that? You say if underscore, underscore name, underscore, underscore, equals, equals, quote, underscore, underscore, main. So now when I run the module, it will automatically, because when you run a module by putting the run current script, it, change, it gives it a name of main, and so it'll call my main function. Let's do it. All right, brings you up this uh, turtle graphics window. And I can press the up key. I can turn. Notice that it doesn't do anything until I say, until I release it, okay? Now, this is kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch program, but with most Etch-a-Sketch programs, you can't, you can't pick up your cursor and start drawing somewhere else. But I don't want us to be like most any Etch-a-Sketch program. I want us to be able to pick up our, our turtle, so we're going to do that. All right, so we're going to add the ability to pick up the pin so we can move the turtle without marking. And I'd like to use the space bar to do that. Um, we could... So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to write a function called toggle pin. All right, there is a um, there is a method called is down. Now is down tells you if the pin is down or not. So we're going to say if is down, and we could say is down equals true. We can say that because this will be true or false. But you actually don't have to. You could just say if is down. Because is down returns a true or false. And so you can either say equals true or you can just leave it like that. It depends on whatever you prefer. Okay? So if the pin is down, I want to pick the pin up. So I'll say pin up. Else, if the pin is not down, let's put the pin down. So we're using our if statements. Remember those? And again, you don't have to have equals equals true. It will be that way even if you don't have it. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's add this key binding to our, to our turtle. Okay? So we're going to go back to main and let's bind that function. And I think space is a lowercase s. I think it's just the arrows that have an uppercase key, okay? And so now that I have that, uh, I, can, I can toggle by using the space bar, and I can make some pretty cool shapes.
All right, so what I'm going to ask you to do is to add some functions that we can that you can bind to some letters on the keyboard. And the letters will be a lowercase letter. So for example, maybe you can make your turtle make a circle every time you hit the letter C. I also would love to see if you could bind some color changes to the to the to the turtle. To where if you clicked on like the R it would turn red or B it turns blue. Um, you could even get, assign numbers from the number pad. Give it, you know, six different colors. And if you hit one, it goes to one color. Two goes to another. And leave the keys for different shapes, like square or rectangle. Add some ability to do some different things. You know, let your imagination run wild for what you can do with this new turtle that responds to us in real time. So that's going to be our objective for the end of this lesson. And um, that's that's it for me.